Here there was the factor 36x squared minus y, 100y to the sixth, uh, completely. So here, now uh, you want to plug a common factor. I noticed that um, 36 and 100 are both equal to y2, right? Um, but we can find a larger number, but I want to work that way. So if we cut them in half, we don't get 36 and 100, we get 18 and 50, a half again, we get 9 and 25, and there are now no common factors, right? So here, um, we, we, we thought of 36 and 100 halved, and halved again, that, that means 4 goes into both of them, right? So your common factor is 4, so 4 times, oh, sorry, 4 times 9 x squared minus 25 y to the 6th. Okay, here though, um, 9x squared and 25y to the 6th, those are both perfect squares. So 9x squared, take the square root of that, it's 3x, right? This is all times 4. And then over here, we have 25y to the 6th. So, so that means that the square root of that is 5y to the what? Well, 5y to the 3rd, right? 5y to the 3rd. And so now we have these two square roots, like we do with any other similar problems. Type of problem, 5y to the third. We add one pair and subtract the other, and we're done. So we have 3x plus 5y to the third, 3x minus 5y to the third times 4, it's choice 2.